welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Betty and I do all kinds of videos. So today I'm actually going to be answering questions that I've been receiving from all of you guys in regards to the lemon coffee TikTok weight loss hack that I posted a couple of months ago. But before we begin, if you have not yet subscribed, what are you guys waiting for? Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. That way you are notified every time I upload a new video. So let's begin. At the end of the video, I am going to show you exactly how I make my lemon and coffee drink. I, I did get a lot of comments, people saying that I needed to pretty much get to the point and show how this drink was made. So I will be doing that once I answer everyone's questions. First of all, I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail as to why this is good for a weight loss. The reason why we use a lemon it is because it is the most effective way to get rid of belly fat, especially when you consume it in the morning with warm water. So if you don't like coffee and you're not a coffee drinker, you can always do a lemon water, but the water does have to be warm in order for it to be effective. So one of the questions that I have been asked is if you can use a lime instead of a lemon, and definitely you can if you do choose to use a lime instead of a lemon, that's absolutely fine because the lemon does help, the lemon does help boost your metabolism, so it is good for weight loss as well. One of the responses that I have been actually also getting is that it has to be a certain coffee. It has to be the L-carotene coffee, which is basically used for a weight loss. You can actually use the L-carotene in anything. You can combine it with your regular coffee drink. You can combine it with your protein drink, or you could take it as is because it is a fat burner and it helps reduce your body fat percentage. So yes, L-carotene is a weight loss coffee that you can use, but it doesn't have to be the L-carotene. It could be any coffee. That's actually another question that was asked a lot is if it could be any coffee. Yes, it could be any coffee. Basically the reason why you could just use regular coffee is because it does have that caffeine that we are looking for to um, reduce our belly fat, but it has to be black coffee. It's also good for energy. It, but whenever I drink coffee, I don't find myself as hungry during the day. I could go a long time without eating and that's only because the coffee makes me feel full. So I'm sure it's all in my head, it's all in my mind, but it works. Um, I'm sure it works for a lot of you guys out there as well. You see me looking down a lot, it's only because I am looking at the questions that everybody was asking me. I wanna make sure that I answer every single question. Um, so someone asked, can I drink this on an empty stomach? So yes, that is the whole point of this diet um, coffee drink is so that you do take it in the morning. As soon as you wake up, before you intake anything, you wanna make this drink and um, basically consume it on an empty stomach. Somebody asks, can you use any kind of instant coffee? Yes, you can use any kind of instant coffee as long as it's coffee. I use three different kinds of coffees. I use Folgers, Nescafe, and Bustelo. For me, I found that using the Bustelo was actually a lot better. For some reason, I felt like it was working a lot more than the other coffee. So I would highly recommend using the Bustelo. Someone else asks, do you have to drink it hot? One of the things that I felt like I had did wrong is that I didn't boil my water. I pretty much put the water in the microwave and I let it get warm. That was one of my first mistakes that I did doing this weight loss. So I do recommend that you do boil your water, make it the regular way that you would be making a coffee. You don't want to drink it cold. You don't want to drink it too warm. You want to make sure that you do boil the water so that you can get all the caffeine out of the coffee, which is the reason why you do have to not necessarily drink it hot, but you do have to make it hot. Somebody asked, can you add sugar? I don't recommend adding sugar as that defeats the purpose. If it's hard for you to drink it, 
I would probably add some organic honey in it just to smooth out the taste when you're taking it, but I would not add sugar because like I said, that just defeats the purpose. Somebody asks, I want to add drink on an empty stomach or after eating. Again, make sure that you take this before your breakfast you want to make sure that you are consuming this on an empty stomach. Is it instant coffee or just regular coffee? It could be either or. If you are going to use instant coffee, just make sure that you do boil the water and you make your coffee like you would regular. Obviously no sugar and no cream. It's just the coffee black as it is. And same thing with regular coffee, as long as you brew it. Somebody asks, do we eat after, after or what, and do we have to eat healthy? In order to really take this serious and lose weight, it's, a, it's just a given that you do have to eat healthy because you can't expect this to be a miracle, right? This is just something that will help you in your weight loss journey, but you also had to put, but you also had to put in extra work. The second thing that I did that was one of one of my mistakes is that at that time I was still vegetarian, so I wasn't eating too unhealthy but yet I wasn't working out. Some of the things I do suggest, if this is something that you really wanna do and you're really struggling to lose weight, you do have to eat healthy. Be more conscious of what you're eating, but make sure that it's a lifestyle change then it's not something temporary because otherwise you're just going to gain the weight back. So it has to be a lifestyle change. Also, make sure that you do at least work out, even if it's 15 minutes a day, even if it's just walking a mile, if you have a dog, just it could be as little as taking your dog off for, the, for a walk. As long as you're getting some form of exercise, I promise you, you will see results. Someone else asks, do you use the coffee drink as a meal replacement in the AM or are you still eating healthy breakfast? This is not a meal replacement. This, like I said, is something to help your metabolism. So you still do want to make sure that you're taking in your meals after you after you drink this. You do want to have your healthy breakfast. You do want to have your lunch. You do want to have your dinner. One thing that I do recommend is don't skip on eating because that's just going to slow down your metabolism, which is going to defeat the purpose of taking this drink. You want to make sure, even if it's small little snacks in between the day, go ahead and do that but you want to make sure that you do not just stop eating because it's going to defeat the purpose and you will not see results or you will not see consistent results someone asks does this coffee have any side effects I'm not a nutritionist i am basically just learning as i go and i do my research as far as i know there shouldn't be no side effects unless you do have problems with taking in too much acidic um, items. So if you are someone that, you know, you're constantly have acid reflux or are constantly like hurting from the stomach when you take um, too much acid, then I don't recommend this diet for you. Someone said, I don't know if it's me or what, but I get hungry after I drink it. Is that okay? That wasn't my experience when I was taking it. Um, I wasn't feeling hungry. I still did have my breakfast. Like I said, it's not a meal replacement, but I did find that throughout the day, I really wasn't hungry. So I wouldn't know how to answer that if it's okay, if it's not okay. Maybe you're just not intaking enough calories. So that, that might be something you might want to look into. I actually got this question asked a lot. I can't have anything with caffeine. Can I do decaf? Well, 
I would say no, it would have to be a caffeinated coffee because it's the caffeine that's going to give you that energy and it's going to reduce, um, increase your metabolism. So I would say no, it does unfortunately have to be um, caffeinated. I got asked a lot too, can I drink it cold? Please don't drink it cold. It's not going to work. It has to be hot, you guys. So someone else asks, what does it do to your body? Does it make you go to the restroom? My experience, I felt like it absolutely did make me go to the restroom. One of the things that it did do to my body was that it was giving me cramps. Sometimes it would be unbearable cramps and it did make me go to the restroom a lot. I feel like this drink actually helped me to detox my body a lot more than what it made me lose weight. So if you are looking for a natural way to detox your body and you know, you're on a budget and you don't have money to be going to these stores to buy these expensive as detox drinks, I do highly recommend taking this because like I said, it definitely worked to detox my body. Now for the question most asked, did it work? How much weight did you lose? It didn't work for me because like I said throughout the video, there was a lot of mistakes that I did. And one of those mistakes was not boiling my water, warming up my water in the microwave. Another thing was not working out. The reason why I didn't work out was because I started this journey to see if every person on TikTok that kept saying they were losing all this weight by just drinking this, by not exercising or doing anything extra, and they were losing 20 pounds, 30 pounds, I wanted to see if it was true or not. So it's not. At least in my experience, it is not true. So I feel that if I would have worked out at least 15 minutes a day, I would have definitely has seen, seen results and been able to maintain it. When I started my weight loss journey doing this lemon coffee TikTok hack, I weighed 196. I'm still at 196, probably even more. I have been going through a lot and I have been very stressed. So I'm wondering if maybe being stressed is also one of the reasons why it's been so hard for me to lose weight. However, I did decide that I am going to give this a, one more try and do it the right way now that I have more information on it, now that I have more awareness of it and what to do and what not to do. I'm going to try this again and hopefully I do see some results. So make sure that if you are following me on this weight journey that you do continue to follow me. Hopefully I won't disappoint. Okay, so I got some coffee with boiling water in it. Oh, shit. And that should be good, just about there. Okay. And then I squeezed one whole lemon and I used the Cafe Bostelo. This is all the juice I got out of it. Now I'm just going to pour that in there. <clears throat> and then just give it a quick little stir. And that is all you do, you guys. Drink and then have your breakfast. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet following me, make sure to follow, follow me. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video.